I was doing wrong. Like me. Peter Parker discovers that Miles also has the power of a spider, but not yet awakened. At this point, Spider-Man is trying to stop a conspiracy. He says he'll be Miles' mentor when the war is over. The Green Monster is one of the Villain King's men. He wants to use the Time Collider to open a time tunnel to find his wife and son, who were accidentally separated. Once the Collider is docked, it will have terrible consequences. At this point, Spider-Man wants to insert a chip into the Collider's control core to stop the Collider from docking. Suddenly, Jin's henchman Prowler rushes out. He throws Spider-Man to the side. The Green Monster then stops Spider-Man under his feet again. The next second, the Collider docks. In a flash, the city warped. It began to merge with other parallel universes. The Green Monster then tries to throw Spider-Man into the Collider. He fought back. Suddenly there was a powerful explosion. And Miles found a dying Spider-Man in the rubble. Spider-Man gives the destruction ship to Miles, leaving him with the task of saving all of humanity. And Spider-Man was killed by a punch from the arriving gene. The loss of Spider-Man left people devastated, and a memorial service was held for Spider-Man. Justice has left, but is it really gone?